just finished my midterm spring break. Whoop whoop. One week later. On March 12th, the coronavirus had officially been declared a pandemic. My school was closed, and just like that, my senior year was over. Since I was home with nothing to do, because spring break was extended for another week, I chose to reflect on what the remainder of my semester might look like in the weeks coming up. I only had one goal, and that was to stay as sane as possible and get my work done while keeping my three-year-old entertained. March 25th, I'm tired. It's it's 7.30. I was only able to get any real work done early in the morning. So I was up anywhere between 5 or 7 a.m. doing homework until around 10. And then all my attention went right back to my daughter. Not that I minded. It was really nice to be home with my family. We would often go for walks or just do anything to find a way to make the time pass. What made it really easy was the fact that we had plenty of sunny days. The greatest transition though, was my job. I work at Starbucks and since March 21st, our cafes have been closed to the customers. It's strange. So now we check our temperatures. We have to wear facial coverings at all times. It was weird at first, but you get used to it. It was a little bit difficult trying to do work and wear something over your face. You get winded pretty fast. But things slowed down significantly with the less customers coming through. But we still found a way to give back to our community. But it was still a lot for us to process. It's still a lot to process around the entire situation. The only thing I can I keep telling myself is that um, I, I'm thankful for my time in the service as a soldier because it definitely made my mental capacity a lot stronger and able to um, process and deal with anything, honestly, no matter the magnitude. And right now, this is definitely a magnitude I've never had to process. But I know everything will be okay because history tells me that. Humans are resilient. We always find a way to exist. We find a way to survive. It's just how the world has worked for centuries. It's different when you're reading about those times that humans have come together in order to coexist. And then you're actually living in that moment where humans need to come together in order to coexist. 